Today I'm showing you how you can add your product brand to your WooCommerce online store. A not so well known fact is that it has massive SEO benefits with Google and other search engines. So stick around for I'll show you how you can add your brands to your products in your e-commerce store. Adding a WooCommerce brand to your products is a sure way to help your customers find what they are looking for. Just like adding a category, you can assign a name, description and an image to each of your brands. This really adds a level of navigation to your e-commerce store and will help you sell more because a lot of customers know what they are looking for before even visiting your website. I mentioned at the start that there are massive SEO benefits and Google Merchant Center use tags to keep track of different metrics and features of each product. You see tags and product attributes like colors, sizes and variants all have big SEO value and brands do too. Adding a brand is typically the same as adding a tag or product attribute but this feature doesn't come standard with WooCommerce and many plugin developers are charging you to buy their plugins. Not that I condone not buying their plugins, but like any new business, your e-commerce store still has to make money before you can open up a budget for often costly plugins. The plugin I'm using today is called Yith WooCommerce Brands Add-on. Yith is a well-known developer with WooCommerce and they have brought out some fantastic stuff in their WordPress repository. So go check them out and I'll leave a link in the description. We'll start in the WordPress dashboard. Let's go to plugins, then select add new. Next search for Yith WooCommerce brands. Then click install. And activate the plugin. I'd actually like to end the video here and tell you that that's it, we're done. We really are done. All that is left is to go and add your brand to your product so in case you have no idea, let me show you how. In our dashboard, let's go to our sidebar and hover over products and select brands. Let's add our name. Then the slug is the URL extension, so just adding the brand name is fine. If you have a parent brand, you can select it here. If you have already added a parent brand, then add your description. This does have SEO value and search engines will pick this up as your description. I'd say keep it SEO friendly with keywords that you would like to have triggered. Then lastly, add an image of your brand's logo. In this case, I'm using the website logo. And then click add new brand. Now that we've added our brand, we can hover over product and select all products. We can now assign our brand to the product. Now let's hover over the product and select quick edit. And then select our brand in the brand column. Now click update and we can repeat this for the other relevant products. Let's go have a look at our brand page and see what it looks like. You'll notice your URL not displaying your brand and in some cases visiting the brand's URL might cause it not to go to the correct page. Now this is not what we would like to see. This is because we haven't set our permalinks yet. So let's go to settings and select permalinks. Now set your permalinks from the default option plain to post name. Scroll down and click save changes. This is also very important for SEO so if your website shows a confusing URL change it to the post name and your website will prettify your URLs to make sense to your visitors and to Google, Bing, Yandex and other search engines.
Now let's view a single product. You can see that the logo is added here. We can do some CSS to style it a bit, but I'm not going to do that in this video. However, let me know in the comments if you would like a short video where I'll show you how you can style it. Now, seeing this here is great. We've basically accomplished what we wanted to, but let's say that we would like to add it to our menu. We can easily just go to Appearance, Menus, then click on the Custom Links tab, add our brand's URL, and give it a name. Then add to menu, click save menu, and then head back to our front end and you'll see it displayed in our menu. If we visit this link, you'll have your brands displayed on a page. Again, remember SEO value as well as easy navigation for your visitors or customers. Keep in mind that you can also create a beautiful page in Elementor, for example, to showcase your brands or even add a bar underneath your menu showcasing your individual brands. Here's a video on some easy steps to creating a page with Elementor. As you can see, this was incredibly easy and you just added some SEO and user experience value to your website. The Youth WooCommerce Brands add-on is really simple, lightweight and just a great all-round tool for adding brands to your online store. They have a lot of cool plugins so check them out. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and if you found value in the video, click subscribe to get notified on my weekly videos. Thanks for watching and till next time.